this girl called it. Happy Christmas. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mer what? Crisis. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. This girl called it. This was this went viral in like 2016. It went a little bit viral, and yeah, she was just out there. I don't know. You know what people were doing back in the day? Just go amongst people, make it, make yourself look crazy or funny or silly or foolish or whatever. Uh, in this case, a little silly, I guess, um, to go viral, and it worked. Um, but yeah, this was like in 2016. We are four years further, and yes, a lot of people are having a merry crisis. I just thought about this meme or whatever you want to call it because I was just thinking about how this Christmas a lot of people are not going to be able to be home with their families a lot of people are not going to be able to like physically cannot go there is a stumbling block and I'm particularly talking about those truck drivers that are stuck between England and like France and yeah apparently there are 10,000 truck drivers that go back and forth between several countries and England every single day that's just one day 10,000 10, thousand of them okay you don't realize because everything is flowing and moving but now there's one long line of these truck drivers who have been stuck in between because why um england has basically said look we are closing the borders and nobody coming in because it's this train of the corona that is going around there that is spreading rampantly it is so so aggressive and apparently it's even affecting it's even affecting little kids so before you know how they were saying oh children are fine and in certain countries they don't even need to wear a mask yada yada blah 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 but now this one is attacking differently and it is it is much more aggressive and much more deadly than the, the, the other strain that we know about so it's very very serious so they just saw that this was happening and said right we're not taking any chances we're gonna shut it down we're gonna shut the borders down and these people are not gonna enter our country which is um wow it, it was unexpected for all these people because it's not like this was announced so that people could get to where they were going and stay there at least for christmas they it's so serious this this train that they did not even want to do that so this looks very inhumane okay um this looks very inhumane because these people are in a long line on the highway motorway freeway whatever you call that way and they are just there with no sanitation, not enough food, not enough drinks. Now people are going around bringing food and drinks around, but we're talking about 10,000 people and nobody was prepared for this and nobody was prepared for this before Christmas. Everybody's doing their own stuff. I don't even know the people who are bringing that around. Maybe it's volunteers, but I could see some people like they were giving, handing out stuff. But then there's another issue, sanitation. Obviously there are no showers or anything like that. They brought some of those uh, toilets that are movable. What did you call them? I don't even remember and there have been some reports that some of them are full and then other people are just using the bushes and stuff like that like it's not sanitary it's not safe it's not good it is cold people are having to do all this in the cold um and the saddest thing of it all is that they're just not with their families so now the only way that they're letting them in and they have been doing this for some time for a few days now because i think this happened like four days ago so they have been there queuing up to try and get some movement going for about four days or so and for about a few days they've been testing them and i think last i checked they t tested about 150 and that's out of the 10,000. so yeah it is really 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 serious and this is not anything that anybody expected so it's like how are they going to get all the resources together to you know obviously get get you know <laughs> get everybody moving you know and out of the 150 there were three people with a positive with a positive coro um test and that's how you can see that you can walk around be fine drive a whole truck and have coro and not even know about it so yeah to people who are just like oh i don't have this i don't feel sick yeah a lot of people don't they don't feel sick they don't have any symptoms they're asymptomatic and they are still able to spread this thing so yeah um hopefully it would help but this is terrible this is terrible for those people and i've been thinking about them and i've been praying for them because i just feel like it's a merry crisis for them for real for real and yeah how do you how do you experience christmas in a truck i know that there were a few people who actually just skedazzled out of the, the queue and went to a hotel don't know how they're going to get back in there but yeah they were like mm -mm, at least i'm going to go to a hotel and their bosses are paying for all of this so 
this is not going to be good and yeah well brexit just the trade deal was finally finalized so this whole thing was very weird that this happened now because this was in the middle of kind of when they were talking about their trade deal and stuff like that they finally came to a conclusion they finally made a deal so it's not an old deal they have a deal to still have that relationship obviously with the rest of europe because now as you see europeans were trying to get in there and maybe some british people as well and couldn't really make their way into britain it's um it's it's been a very interesting christmas and so many other things have happened so many other things are happening and yeah it's crazy but i just thought of this meme because i was like wow back in the day it was all fun and games but now we are really all having a very interesting crisis going on but i hope that despite everything that's going on that you still had a very merry christmas and that you were able to enjoy yourself whether it's by yourself whether it's just a few people whether you took it really far and followed the guidelines and had masks on and were on one and a half meter distance i mean at this point if things are going to be this boring you might as well just stay home by yourself like just don't even go anywhere just don't even attempt to do it it is not nice it is not natural and you want to hug people and you want to talk and you want to laugh without having to wear a mask and all that kind of stuff this is very unnatural but you guys we hope and we pray that by next year things will be very different and we'll have a very different christmas but yeah enjoy christmas as it's still going on and stay healthy and be grateful for what you do have definitely count your blessings but sometimes you literally have to actually count them because your life is so much better than somebody else's life and that doesn't mean it's perfect but just be thankful for what you do have because within a snip things can change so quickly those truck drivers did not know that they were going to be stuck on a highway spending christmas i mean later on it might be a tale but for now it really sucks and it's really bad and it, these are very poor living conditions and they've had to rough through for the last few days and they never knew it was going to be like that i'm sure they had all the christmas shopping and everything ready and all the presents and they're just gonna have to celebrate christmas on a later at a later stage so yeah it's kind of sad but yeah count your blessings for real and make it a merry Merry Christmas. In any case, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the bumps thumb as on the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. A like because you obviously like this video and hit the notification bell watch it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's time to start what? Living it right. God bless. Mm -hmm.